Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. I have so much for which to be thankful. But it's also a time when many people go on shopping frenzies in stores and online. In the United States alone, billions of dollars worth of Christmas shopping traditionally begins on Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, and then on to Cyber Monday. In the five-day period from Thanksgiving to Cyber Monday, online sales are projected to total about $37 billion. In total, holiday e-commerce spending in the United States was $239 billion last year. But with this massive volume of online purchases comes massive online threats. In 2022, there were $10.3 billion worth of cyber crimes from a whole spectrum of sources, which involved 1.8 billion data compromises that affected 422 million people. In light of the fact that millions of people are going to be doing their holiday shopping this year online, today's video is going to highlight eight simple pieces of advice that I practice, teach, and recommend to be safer online. When I teach cybersecurity threat mitigation behaviors, I like to call them countermeasures, and I frame countermeasures using the acronym PATH. PATH stands for Parameter Countermeasures, Access and Authentication Countermeasures, Technical Countermeasures, and Human Countermeasures. But rather than going through the entire list of countermeasures, let me give you eight to consider, starting with having an antivirus. Most of us have an antivirus on our laptops or desktops because they come with one from the factory. But most of you don't have an antivirus on your smartphone or tablet. I always recommend having an antivirus on each of your devices to include your smartphone. And I further recommend that you have a reputable one. Sure, you might be able to save a few dollars on a cheap or free antivirus, but I'm not going to trust my device and privacy to a fly-by-night company. I recommend going with a well-known and well-established antivirus company. Next, you need to keep all devices, apps, and software updated with the latest security patches. This helps to fix potential vulnerabilities which can be exploited by cyber criminals. Don't wait a few weeks or till the first of the month. If the update is available, then install it. Only shop at websites with HTTPS in the URL and a padlock symbol in the address bar. This signifies encryption and a safer connection for transactions. If the website you're shopping on doesn't have HTTPS and a padlock, then don't buy anything there. It's very important that you employ unique and robust passwords for each account. Strong passwords prevent unauthorized access to your accounts. This goes for your online banking or for your favorite shopping website. If available, always enable MFA or multi-factor authentication. MFA adds an extra layer of security by requiring multiple forms of verification. Usually, this is a code sent to your cell phone after you log in using your username and password. Be cautious of unsolicited emails, messages, or links. You are going to get several emails where vendors announce their Black Friday sales. Most are legitimate, but a few are fraudulent. Verify the legitimacy of the source for all of your emails and avoid clicking on suspicious or unknown hyperlinks. Use secure payment options like credit cards or reputable payment platforms that offer fraud protection. Avoid insecure payment methods or wire transfers. Regularly review your bank and credit card statements to swiftly detect any unauthorized transactions. Report any suspicious activities to your financial institution. By incorporating these simple measures, consumers can significantly enhance their security posture during the high volume shopping periods of Black Friday and Cyber Week. Doing this will reduce your risk of falling victim to fraudulent activities and cyber threats. And if you or your parents are cybersecurity amateurs, then I highly recommend taking my most recent virtual course entitled Cybersecurity for Seniors. It's about an hour and a half of new material where we discuss the principles of cybersecurity, device familiarization, 
Then we go over 24 common threats and the cybersecurity countermeasures that you should do to mitigate those threats. I've got the course reasonably priced so it won't break the bank, and I'm sure it will help you keep your loved ones safer online. I'll leave a hyperlink to the course in the description below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to join my life as a special operations team. And be sure to forward this video to a friend who needs to see it. Life is a special operation. Are you ready for it?